But a full slate of Democrats are vying for that position and officially filed to get their names on the ballot. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. The countdown to the recall primary begins in earnest tonight, following a 5 p.m. deadline to submit papers to get on the ballot. In our campaign 2012 coverage, our political reporter Jess Garf tells us who's in and how they say they can win. Submitting the maximum signatures allowed under state law, former Dane County Executive Kathleen Falk says she's reaching out state voters. And that's why a year, excuse me, six years ago when I was on the statewide ballot, not the top of the ticket, but I earned a million and 56,000 votes, which is 50,000 more votes than our candidate for governor got a year and a half ago. That's a direct strike at Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. His wife Chris and former Lieutenant Governor Barbara Lawton submitted signatures on his behalf. Lawton endorsing the mayor despite being a strong advocate for more female candidates in office and women's rights. Men and women together carry that banner. And today I am endorsing Tom Barrett because I trust that he will carry that banner on our behalf as governor. Inside this box are the voters' hopes and dreams for a fresh start in Wisconsin yes. government and politics. Proudly touting an outsider image, State Senator Kathleen Vinehout says Barrett's last campaign was not enough. We cannot repeat what we did in 2010. Democrats have to, have to win in my part of the state. In my district, voters voted for me and they voted for Scott Walker and Ron Johnson. Where we have to win as Democrats is in the neighborhoods that I have represented for the past six years. But Secretary of State Doug LaFollette says it's his longtime career in politics that will win him the race. I've shaken more hands than anybody but Bill Proxmire probably, and I've been doing it for years. People know me. I'm a known quantity, and I've got nothing to prove except to get Wisconsin back on track again and to bring us together. Only 2,000 signatures were required to get on the ballot. 4,000 at most were accepted. There is one other Democrat on the ballot. Gladys Huber of Mequon has run as a protest candidate or a fake Democrat. Her nomination papers were dropped off by the Republican Party. And others have registered, I guess, as fake Republicans to run against uh, Governor Walker, right? So one, one is a so-called fake Republican. Mm -hmm. One is an actual Republican, Arthur Cole Riggs of Madison and Michael Mangan of West Alice. We will have more on that coming up tonight at 10. And this will be interesting to watch. Thanks, Jess.